My name is Dr. Parsha Doris. Uh, I work here at Mission Hospital. I'm the Chief of Neurology at Mission Hospital here down in Mission Viejo. Tell us about your facility. Mission Hospital had signed on to Cerebell uh, in 2018. We were probably well over 800. We're probably closer to 900, if not even closer to 1,000 cases in the last two and a half years. What motivated you to expand Cerebell's use? Pragmatically speaking, we're a community hospital. Um, we have limited resources. We have limited um, access to certain things, one of them being technicians. Uh, you know, it was very much a nine to five, Monday through Friday. So, um, and I saw that and, and I was seeing how it was affecting patient care. And so uh, that was the biggest driver uh, as far as motivation to, to expand its use. The idea that patients would be sitting there for long periods of time without getting any appropriate care or monitoring bothered me. And where are you using the rapid response EEG in your facility? So we have uh, three machines. One of them is, in, is situated in the, ICE, in the emergency department, um, <clears throat> which I would argue gets probably the most frequent use. Um, and then we have one that is in the surgical ICU, which is, works as our neuroscience ICU as well. Um, and then we have one that floats with the rapid response teams. What has the impact of rapid response EEG been on your facility? We had a couple cases that were just like slam dunks as far as uh, seizure and, you know, from the onset of symptoms to the placement of the cerebell to the treatment and resolution was within like two hours. Um, it's multiple, on multiple occasions helped us appropriately position a patient in the ICU or on the floor if necessary. I mean, all around it's been uh, a positive influence on our care for patients. Providers feel more comfortable because they know that they have it at the fingertips. That access really provides them some comfort. Um, the ED sees it more of a tool of their own now and they don't really have to uh, wonder if they need it or not. They can just put it on and get, a, get themselves an answer fairly quickly. So I think it's not just affected our, you know, revenue and our patient care. I think it's really affected the culture um, and allowed us to um, make uh, EEG something that wasn't this big, complicated endeavor to get, but rather just something practical that we can get quickly and get an answer for. How has rapid response EEG helped during the COVID-19 crisis? With respect to COVID, you know, the biggest issue and the biggest concern is, is exposing providers and others to the coronavirus. And, and so uh, when Mission Hospital started getting patients here for corona, we were, we, we opened up our own specific COVID unit, which was a converted ICU. So it's a smaller area. Um, and so the location of it made positioning and machinery very important. Um, and so the cerebell was kind of a natural fit for those particular cases, A, because there was limited room and space, B, because you wanted to reduce exposures so you'd have one less person in the room as far as technicians go. The nurses are so well adapted and so well trained in this stuff that they can just put it on in their sleep probably. So it was another thing that the nurses could implement without having to expose another provider or another, another healthcare worker. And so you had space, you had um, safety and then, uh, you know, precautions and safety as far as cleaning the unit. It's much easier to clean a cerebral machine than it is to clean up an entire monitoring system. So it really was a kind of a, a, a no brainer, no pun intended. Um, and that's because, uh, you know, in, in most of the cases, we weren't worried about is this person having a convulsive seizure or not. Most of the cases, it was, why is this patient so encephalopathic? Why is this patient so unresponsive? And so it was a, a good tool to give us that yes or no answer. We weren't looking to localize something. We weren't looking for in-depth and spatial analysis. We were really looking for just yes or no, and that's what it was for. So.